Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a dichotomous key, well, a tree diagram, using the following items. So A is a ball of water, B is a stone, C is this pencil, D is a plastic box, and E is this notebook. So just pretend that you've listed all the characteristics for these items already. Now what you need to do is choose one of those characteristics to be the first one that you'll use for your tree. So we have all of the items to start with. So that would be A, B, C, D, and E. Now the first characters that I'm going to choose to use is whether it's plastic or not. Because you ideally want a characteristic that allows you to divide your group in half. It isn't necessary, but I always find that's a good place to start. So is it plastic? You have two possible options for answers. It either is plastic or it isn't. So we'll put the yes on this side and no on this side. So this is number one, and this is A and B. Now if we have a look at the items again, A, water bottle, is definitely plastic, so that goes on the yes side. B, the rock, is not. C, the pencil, of course, is not. D, the plastic box, is plastic, so that also goes on this side. And E, the notebook, is covered in plastic as well, so that goes on this side. So the items that are not plastic would be the rock, which is B, and the pencil, which is C. Alright, so we've managed to divide our group in two. Now we need to continue with some more statements, because our goal is to separate each of these items each of these groups down to individuals. So for D, yes, we know that all of these are plastic. Um, I think next we're going to go with color. So let's say, is it black? Is it black? Once again, this side for yes, and this side for no. So this is now our second statement. So this is number two. And this is A and B. So is it black? The water bottle is obviously not black, so A goes on this side. B, sorry, D, which is the plastic box, that's blue, so that's not black as well. So that goes on this side. And E, the book, however, is black. So if it is black, then it is the notebook. So we've already separated out our first item, which is great. Now, you can see if you go back to the tree, that the statements are all correct for the notebook. So the notebook, yes, is black, and yes, it is plastic. Now, we want to separate A and D. Well, before we get to A and D, we need to go back over to this side because we've done one and two, but we have to do three. Now B and C are both not made of plastic. To refresh your memory, that would be the pencil and the rock. So what characteristics are we going to use to divide the two of them? I think one obvious thing is the length, which we have recorded. And we know that the rock, we measured a number of rocks, the rocks are all smaller than three inches. And every pencil that we've measured, because we had a number of pencils as well, every pencil is greater than three inches. So the question we're going to ask is, is it greater than three inches in length? If the answer is no, then we know, of course, that's our A, that it's the rock. And if the answer is yes, 
then of course we know that it's the pencil. So we've now managed to separate another two of our items. Now coming back to number four, because we're going in levels, so number one, number two, number three, and now number four. We need a question that would allow us to separate A and D. No. Another characteristic that we measured would be shape. And when we have a look at A and D, we see that they're two completely different shapes. So the question we're going to use is, is it cuboid? Now D definitely is cuboid. So if it is, the answer is yes, then the only option is the box. And the bottle is certainly not cuboid. So now we've separated out all of our items and we're going to go have a little check through our tree to make sure that it's correct. So you want to know that all of these statements are true. So for A, the bottle, according to this we have the bottle no is not cuboid, which is true. We come up here, no it's not black, it's definitely not black come up, yes, it is made of plastic. Those statements are all true for the bottle. For the rock, yes, sorry, for the box, yes, it is cuboid. No, it's not black. And yes, it is plastic. For the rock, no, it's not greater than three inches. And no, it's not plastic. So all of our statements that we've attributed to the different objects we're trying to identify are true. Now we come to the real test. We have a new object. So we've done our tree and we have something new to identify. So we have no idea what this is, but we're going to try to use our key to identify it. So starting, we go to the first statement. Is it plastic? No, it's definitely not plastic. So We'll come over here to no. Coming down, we get to number three. Is it greater than three inches in length? Yes, that's definitely true. It's greater than three inches in length. So we have our answer, it's a pencil. Now you have to bear in mind that this is a very limited key. If I'd used, and very, very general characteristics. If I'd used the pen, for example, I would not be able to identify it because yes it is plastic according to my key yes it is plastic it's, it is black which would tell me that it's a notebook which it most certainly is not so this very limited key with very general characteristics only allows us to differentiate between a bottle a box a notebook a rock and a pencil Nothing else would be suitable with this key. Now, for the next step, we're going to look at how we convert this key into a dichotomous key made of statements, which is what you really need to do for your lab. So that will go through in part two.